<laughs> so when I was growing like, up, just wait till I you was get home. <laughs> but me and all of my siblings, we were all hit. I think I was hit a little bit less just because I was a very like quiet, shy kid, kind of similar to you, Marcella. Um, so they're just they didn't, and they were very. I, it was obvious that when they would hit us, though, it was them letting out their frustration mm-hmm. a lot of the times. Which yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, th- I, so I definitely see that as being like you know counterproductive. It, 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 yeah, it, because it was never this idea of like, oh, if you do something wrong, you get in trouble for it. It's like if you make me mad, you get in trouble yeah. for it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I can do shit wrong. That's a very different thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so I that's see that. Thing, yeah. I see that as being a wrong way of punishment. But I also see because some people say like oh, well, I never, like, sh- do it as, like, me letting out my anger. Like, I'll, you know, spank my kid if they do something wrong, and then we'll have a conversation about it, and I'll tell them I love them and things. The other issue that comes with that, and this is, like, a psychological proven thing, yeah. mm-hmm. like, there's, like, studies on it, that then it starts to become trauma bonding. Mm-hmm. And then kids get used to that, so then they grow up learning that. Yeah. And so then when they're in a abusive relationship, in an abusive relationship, you know, if their significant it other like, uh, like puts their hands on them or even is verbally abusive to them. And then afterwards, like, I love you so much like that. They're like, oh, that's love. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so I just don't see in what way you can use like spanking or hitting as a punishment without having some kind of trauma behind it, without mm-hmm. leaving some kind of traumatic. That's fair. You know, side to it. I, that's just my I, personal. I can my see personal, it. I can, like, I can see how you could you use that, but it's very, it's a very delicate. It's a very delicate rope to walk to walk to have to balance. Yeah. Um. Nor, no, but even then, I don't think it's. It might not even be something that I choose to employ, because again, like, it works differently for everybody. But I think circumstantially, where how you end up being a parent and the conditions in which you're being you're you're being a parent affect a lot of those kinds of decisions, parenting decisions. And somebody can already ahead of time say like, oh, I'm like, or for me, for example, I've committed myself to not having a kid to a certain point in my life. Therefore, I don't think that I'd ever necessarily like result to that. I just realized I'm going to be a Thea one day. For real, one day. <laughs> in like a very real way. Yeah. Like right now, I'm not like a real Thea because like he's- what if, your, what if your brother has a kid? My brother's going to have a kid. I know, but like- He's soon. the one that's going to give my mom, like, like they know it. That's funny. He's going to have a kid. I mean, I feel like, to be fair, like, part of, like, that whole conversation is also, like, a li- I guess kind of what you were saying. It's, like, the, with parenting, there's so much, like, criticism. You know yeah. what I mean? And to be fair, I think if you're not, like, a qualified... Like, everybody can have, like, their own opinions as, as to, like, how they would do it. You know what I mean? Like, in saying, like, I would never hit my kids. Or, like, I would be okay with this kind of situation. Or I would be that... But I think, like, at the end of the day, like, parenting just comes with so much, like, questioning and criticism that it's, like, listen, whichever way you manage to do it, dude. Nothing you ever do is going to be perfect. Like, no matter how you do it. I also think it's a moving target. It's a moving, it's a moving, like, it's not only, it's not only a moving target, but if you have multiple kids, it's multiple moving targets. Yeah. Oh, okay. And that's you know what, what I would always like, like talk about. Like mm. I have like a re- like I probably have like the best relationship with my parents out of like anyone that I know, like my age, like out mm-hmm. of, and my friends have good relationship with their parents. Yeah. yeah. But like, I have a really, really good relation. Like I am very open with my parents. Like I talk to my parents like every day, like yeah, yeah. we yeah, communicate like you that. You do be talking to your parents every like, day. Like I literally was sexing my mom earlier. <laughs> so yeah. I feel sorry me on my phone it was that she was like she broke her phone so i was like oh girl i'll text you later but um you know and like my i like genuinely think my parents sit like i have pretty young parents they have very progressive parents and i'm like yeah man too. my parents like yeah. loved us a lot and they were like committed to being like we like we're kind of fucked up but we want to give you like the best fucking version Yo, that we shout can out to young parents that shout out to, to young, to parents, young progressive highly educated parents shout out to say, young fucking parents i will say as as um and I, the reason why I say this is because I think it's very, very important to note that if you are a progressive parent, it does not mean that you cannot have oh, that slip up of hitting your kid when you oh, feel frustrated yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, when something yeah, 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 yeah. happens. The reason that's, that's being said is... I mean, I mean progressive, like ideologically, I don't mean progressive no, no, in terms no, 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 of yeah. like taking... Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, like, as speaking, as, hand speaking hand as, hand as hand, people yeah. that like are talking about like not wanting to 
to ever like hit your kid or, or believe that that might be like the way that you want to parent your kid. Like once it comes down to, oh, I want to see if I could. Once it actually comes down to like raising or again, you mentioned it right now. It's like, it's the way that you were put into being a parent that affects mm-hmm. a lot of the way that you yeah. end up being with your kid Big because I didn't know how to be, this is, as and, as, and as this is, emotionally this is mature I mean, as I am now, when this, I first had this my kids. This is what I mean. Yeah. But like the point I was making earlier to to put it concisely is there's it, there's never a wrong time to stop generational trauma. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? There's and never then, you know there's never a wrong. It could you could be thirty. You yeah. like, your kid could be thirty. Your kid could yeah. be forty five. Yeah. Your kid could be eight. Like there's never a wrong it time to do it. It still has the same it. amount of impact. But on I, the kid. I I only say that specifically because Agreed. like I said, yeah. I was I was I was hit as a kid yeah. but also the circumstances in which my parent our parents had you were yeah. being parents, parents yeah. were very excruciating circumstances yeah. and when you like i said when you sit down and have this conversations as an adult and you really ask those tough questions and that you get honest answers back you really start to see the, their world in a very They're different context yeah. and you start to then even as a kid i may have had some sort of like trouble with like you know uh like resentment or something like that, right? But like, as I'm hearing these conversations play out, and then I'm processing, and I'm doing this, and I'm I'm as watching them, and I'm going, life, I'm gone looking back to memories, yeah. and I'm piercing back the layers, and I'm going back to the memory files, and so then I'm like, oh, holy crap! Like, I have a huge respect for what you've done, and I have, mm-hmm. or, or like, you you start to see the world yeah. in a more shades of gray, realistic kind of way, and not just this like black and white. I yeah. hate you, mom, because you didn't let me go to the and store. I think like, you, like, you know what I mean? You having surpassed the age of which they had you and you not having that's a, a kid that's another point because yeah. you get to be like well how the fuck was i at 20 years old because i definitely don't know if, how, if i could have handled having a whole ass child oh, I say that shit all the time. moving to a whole different country doing yeah, 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 all this yeah. shit on my own like i say that shit all the time the like fuck? i go back to them and i'm like how you guys pulled this shit off and you know what's crazy I have no idea is it's like as for me um with with me trying to break that generational trauma with my kid it's also because I was in a very um, not 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 the best ideal situation when I had my kid, and now as she's four, going on a five, within those four four years of life are a long time. Yeah, to be doing a lot of different things. So I've had to forget, learn to forgive myself for the things that I know I fucked up in when I was when I was sure. when she was yeah. young and I was frustrated but that, that, that goes to the, the point things. about yeah. like it's never the wrong time and to stop yeah. the generational yeah. trauma and, you know what I mean? and I'm not saying because this is the thing I am and the reason I say this is because there are times where I still hit my kid like that's just gonna be what it is and that's just how that's just because that's how I'm choosing to do it and because sometimes my kid's a fucking dick and she will be a dick for for a specific because this is the thing you know your kids this once you have your kids you'll start to be like ah you're just i get it you're being you know you're 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 feeling frustrated and you're gonna have that one kid that's like i'm really doing this to piss you off please hit me do something like, <laughs> no really because this is something like natalia will look at me and be like you ain't gonna do nothing do some. And she'll, she'll, and she'll so wait. That, no, yeah, she'll, she'll, she will wait. wait. You'll be like, don't she'll drop do that. And she'll go to like the farthest That's place so and go. get to the highest place and look at you and say, you have to know that. I don't know what? which fucking camera is on right now, but you have uh, to know that all of them did this. <laughs> yes. Like, yeah. like, <laughs> she, will, she, will be, she will look at you dead in the eye and be like, and, oh, you mean and then, like And it's this? not even me though. She doesn't just do it to me. <laughs> to she'll anyone. do it to everybody. Like the minute you told her, like, don't go up the thing. She'll be like, don't the don't what? Go where? What? This thing? This thing? You want me to go? The thing that I can oh, very clearly do because and, I'm an autonomous and, and human being. And this is why I say like <laughs> asserting your dominance. And that sounds funny. And I, I really don't mean it in like a weird territorial way. I really do mean it in the sense it's like, I get what you're I'm saying, the baby. Parent. I get what you're saying, but it's my house and so you do what I say. <laughs> the reason I say that is because that's how I grew up with my mom. Yeah. And I do think that that was actually a really nice way of being taught because it taught me boundaries. Mm-hmm. It re- And it taught me healthy boundaries because... It taught me that I cannot have that kind of relationship with just anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, I do have to understand that there are, there's always going to be somebody that you got to have to stop that little line at. And you're going to be like, oh, I can't talk to you like that. I can't be this way around certain people. Because there's people out there wilding who be acting like that with anybody. Disrespecting old people. I've been seeing that shit. I'd be like. And that's how you know those kids were not told who the hell was that. That's the one time that I've looked at people and be like. Parents from the fucking heights. Get a fucking hold of your kids. 
God damn. Yeah, the, the, exactly. there's some people that I be looking at, and I'm like, man, you you need to get. And that's when I revert to my generational sw- trauma. Sw- okay, and I'm like, maybe okay. you should have whipped your fucking kid. <laughs> and you know, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna, what the, your kid I'm is gonna, acting crazy. I'm gonna say what is this? this? I'm gonna say this. You shit about it. Your kid pulled the fire alarm in front of the fire. I'm gonna say this because your kid it's just fucking bought, crazy. Like your kid just like spit on some other kid and then bought this other like bought. Why do I keep saying bought? What's the fucking <laughs> bothered? Bite? No. Bit. 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 Thank you. Like the amount of times that we had to be like, hey, don't. Don't, don't put your mouth there. What are you doing? <laughs> so like, okay, I, <laughs> hey, I know don't somebody. Bite other people. I know, I know, I know. I'm like, like, I hope this is going to be fine. But like, I know someone that has kids that are older and these people are white. Okay, they're white. White as can be, you know, deep in the heart, Texas. And these people deep literally the got their kids. Their kids are older. Their kids are put in these like, it sounds really dumb, but like they're put in these like really like advanced like ac- not um like extracurricular things like athletic stuff yeah. stuff. Now let me tell you, that was a privilege to have when we, when I was young because it was like it's if you if you yeah. want to be in this, you don't have to be in this mm-hmm. sport. You are you're gonna have to deserve this shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we we, well, we, these we will kids, take everything away. These right now. little kids out here cussing their parents out Mm-mm. fuck oh. you you fat bitch blah, blah 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 that kind of shit to their parents and literally telling their kid and them them putting them in this expensive as clubs to be playing in no way and yo, you ever had that experience you know where what? somebody had that shit and, they, no, and no, no, you no. just and you get scared for them you're like yo your mom is coming yeah Bro, no, 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 no. okay okay okay, okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yo, what's I'm your gonna say this gonna do this, this information was told to us or has been told to us in a room full of minorities with this person being the only not minority person there and every minority so was all like, of us all of us were been like are literally look at each other the minute this person leaves we're all like bro the way my mama would have beat the fuck out of me yeah. the way i would have never said, even she called her mom maybe away. fear is said, like a she better her mom sometimes, away. You, sometimes you really need to be put in that line of like baby you can't talk to me like that because you're gonna get whooped yeah to, <laughs> like, my whooped. mom never hit me but, but that's knew. because i didn't give her a reason to yeah yeah but well, let me let like the minute i would even try to turn my eyes will be like volteame los ojos una vez más para ver que te, te voy a voltear la cara te vas a quedar viendo al otro lado I would be like, and I believe her. But she did I that shit to me her. <laughs> but really like, did that girl, to me. my eyes are gonna be in my bag. Well, you, back, Funny back enough, here? one I think. I mean, if you have a kid that that is acting that way and whatnot, military school. And, and you're saying, well, you're nah. you know, you're saying it's that they need to get hit. I don't necessarily <laughs> think they need to get hit. I think they just failed as a parent in a different way. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. Oh, one hundred percent. It's just said, funny that all the minorities are like, "Oh, oh, oh shit. yeah, yeah, like, you yeah." You didn't have the fear of sure. your mother, but like, like <laughs> once it got to a certain age with me and my siblings, and we were all hit. We had lost respect for our parents to the yeah, point that we were like, and, and, and we cursed, to, we cursed. I mean, we call our our parents by their first names because we we're like, oh no, they're like that's not mom and dad anymore. That's, like, a, that's a hell look of at, a look at her face. Anymore. Look at no, her face. Like, that's real like, as fuck. Look, like, like, so when you said, get to an age when you're like. I'm realizing that I don't respect my dad uh-huh. or my mom, and I just like learn to fear and they them. The shit out of us. And uh-huh. I don't like this. Is not how yes, this relationship is supposed yes. to work. So which is why, which is why. That's we, what I'm saying. But like the way the way them. your face changed, like let you call mom Claudia. But it got to and a point. She, she gonna look back like. <laughs> well, because it got to a point with us, with us, You're with my eating. family, and with my siblings, we're all in a place of like I'm gonna call you what I want to call you and stuff because honestly, like I don't care if I'm around you. I don't care. Like you said, yeah, you they were, were, they they were, were trying to they get were you t- to and understand. And I also understand. Like, I also understand the idea of like looking back yeah. at your family and like at like Feeling I know my bad. parents were also not necessarily in the best place at the time of raising us. That I'm sure they went through hella shit. And looking back, I can also see their headspace and like their mental space of where they were. And part of it is also really scary because I see the stuff that they went through mentally, like like just their mental health and I can see it in myself as well I see the depression that they went through and like when I was younger I didn't understand it and then it started happening to me and then it made me more frustrated because I started saying well I want to fix this before I have kids so that I don't make them go through that and then it got like I got a lot of resentment in it as a teenager because I was like why didn't you fix this? Yeah. Why didn't you correct this? Yeah, like you're the adult. Yeah, before that, yeah, putting that's me what, through that's what, it, you and know? that's why. Shout out, pr- pr- props to, to to mom and pop Jimenez because because they, they did literally s- sat down and they were like, "We want to apologize for this and this yeah. and this and this." And this. So, like, my parents like, won't accept that. 
that's and that's yeah. and that's that's like, and that's like a really big thing because big in that thing. conversation, then you get to have like really honest dialogue, and in that conversation, because they both get to we both get to hear things they, that are uncomfortable. Like they, you know what I mean. Are, a lot of people are not willing to be vulnerable about the things that they fuck up in. Mm-hmm. And I, I've had this conversation with mom specifically um, and dad as well. But like mom specifically was like, I realized at, um, cause she had you at what? 20, 20, she had me at 27 or tw- 26, 26 or she somewhere. had you at 21, had me at 27. So basically she was like literally around the age of 25. She's like at, around the age of 25, 26. When I started thinking about having you, it was because I thought about the fact that I she wanted, it sounds weird, but she kind of wanted to make up for for how badly she had kind of been yeah, yeah, yeah. She told dealing me with her trauma for, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think... How she took it out on me. Yeah, and yeah. I think that like a lot of people never get to that point where they realize that they fucked up. A lot of people still live in their but trauma. They you know, live in there and they're you, like really when you bad. Don't, when you don't get a, to a chance of closure when it comes to those kinds of things, you also don't get to realize certain truths. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like in that conversation, and we'll end with this because we have to go, but mm-hmm. in that conversation, uh, we're going to end like in a very like poignant point, but we, I, I had that conversation with mom and pops mm-hmm. and they admitted all those things to me and immediately, I would have never said this otherwise, immediately after that, as I'm processing, I get to then say something like, I feel like the first mistake I ever made was interrupt your lives. Mm. And I would have never said that had they never yeah. mm-hmm. admitted to like certain things. Cause then we, cause then we were just going to keep going on this back and forth. We're like, well, this, I would, didn't ask to be here, but yeah. like, you don't understand the circumstance and then just blah, 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 mm-hmm. blah, nonstop. So then when you get to that point, then you get to like really then be like, Phew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like but that's whole- why I stick to my guns in terms of like, it's never, again, it's never a bad time to, to, to have those tough conversations and stop that generational divide because there's, chances are you have more alike than you have oh, yeah. you know, differences. You know For what sure. I mean? So that's genetics, anyway, baby. till next time. Peace. Bye guys. I love the fact that the people who don't have kids are literally talking about what they would do when they have kids. But let me just say, wait till you have the kid. Wait till it comes out of you, first of all. Wait till that trauma hits you. Wait till the literal trauma hits you, okay? And then wait till they come at you with a toy truck and then tell me when you're going to be like, get your ass over here or whatever. I'm just saying. I know that we were talking about children and parenting and things like that but you know honestly i i think that i probably i think i'm i think i'm gonna be a fucking great parent you know what i mean i think i just you know just give me like a a genius kid you know what i mean probably just have like a fucking genius as kid and like you know like it wouldn't be that hard you know because how i mean how hard is it really you know?